Wing Aspect Ratio Wing Aspect Ratio is the wing span divided by the wing cord. Wing cord is the length of the wing from the wing leading edge to the wing trailing edge. If the wing cord is equal throughout the length of the wing, so that for rectangular wing shape, the formula of aspect ratio is like this. But for most wings, the length of the cord is not constant, but varied along the wing. For wings with a plan form that are not rectangular, the aspect ratio is calculated as the square of the span divided by the wing plan form area. And a long narrow wing has a high aspect ratio, whereas a short wide wing has a low aspect ratio. Now let's discuss the effect of wing aspect ratio on various aircraft features such as aerodynamic and performance, stability and control, aircraft structure and aircraft cost. Let's begin with effect of wing aspect ratio on aerodynamic and performance. Effect of aspect ratio on aerodynamic features. As the aspect ratio increased, the aerodynamic features of three-dimensional wing are getting closer to its two-dimensional airfoil section. Let's discuss why this happening. We know the lower surface of the wing pressure is higher than the upper surface pressure, and because of that, the flue near the wing tip tend to curl around the tip. And that will cause a spanwise component of flow from the tip toward the wing root on top surface and on the bottom surface will cause a spanwise component of flow from the root toward the wing tip and that will cause what called a tip vortex. So because a high aspect ratio wing have a higher wing span and that will decrease the influence of the wing tip vortex and as a result of that we reach to our first point. As the aspect ratio increased, the lift curve slope increased toward the maximum theoretical limit of 2 pi. And as the aspect ratio increased, the wing stall angle is decreased toward the airfoil stall angle, so that the horizontal tail have the aspect ratio lower than the wing aspect ratio to allow for a higher tail stall angle. Then the tail will stall after the wing has stalled and allow for a safe recovery. And for the same reason, a canard is desired to have a lower aspect ratio than the wing. As the aspect ratio increased, the wing maximum lift coefficient CL max is increasing toward the airfoil maximum lift coefficient. The effect of aspect ratio on maximum lift to drag ratio. As the aspect ratio increased, the aircraft maximum lift to drag ratio is increased. From the equation of maximum lift to drag ratio, where CDO is the aircraft zero lift drag coefficient and K is the wing induced drag factor and is equal to this equation where E is Oswald span efficiency factor. So that as the aspect ratio increased, 
k will decrease it, then l over d max will increase it. And for this reason that the gliders have large aspect ratio and long wings. The effect of aspect ratio on induced drug. As the aspect ratio increases, the wing induced drug is decreased. Since the inducing drug is inversely proportional to the wing aspect ratio. Finally, the effect of aspect ratio on parasitic drug. As the aspect ratio increases, the parasitic drug increases, which is the combination between form drug that arises because of the shape of the object and skin friction drug which arises from the interaction between the fluid and the skin of the body and is directly related to the weighted surface, the area of the surface of the body that is in contact with the fluid. We finished the effect of aspect ratio on aerodynamic and performance. Let's jump to the next section the effect of aspect ratio on stability and control. Effect of aspect ratio on longitudinal stability and control. As the aspect ratio increase, the influence of the wing tip vortex on the tail will decrease and that will improve the longitudinal stability and control. Effect of aspect ratio on lateral control. As the aspect ratio increases, the aileron arm will be increased since the aileron are installed outboard of the wing. This means that the aircraft has more lateral control. Effect of aspect ratio on rule and maneuverability. As the aspect ratio increases, the aircraft mass moment of inertia around the x-axis will be increased. This means that it will take longer to rule and this will reduce the maneuverability of the aircraft in rule. For this reason, a low aspect ratio wing or shorter wing is desired for a maneuverable aircraft such as fighters to enable them to roll and maneuver as fast as possible. Effect of aspect ratio on aileron control. As the aspect ratio increases, the occurrence of the aileron reversal is expected more, since the wing will be more flexible and prone to twist under aileron loads, and this is not a desirable phenomenon for a maneuverable aircraft. Now let's jump to the third section, the effect of aspect ratio on aircraft structure. Effect of aspect ratio on weight of the wing. As the wing gets longer, the wing weight bending moment gets larger and bending stress in the wing root will be higher so that the wing root must be stronger to hold the long wing and because of that the wing will be heavier. The effect of aspect ratio on wing structure. As the wing ratio increases the tendency of the wing tip to drop during takeoff is increased while the tendency to raise during high speed fly is increased when a sufficient structural strength is difficult when manufacturing very high aspect ratio wing the wing tip drop is not a desirable in a takeoff maneuver since the wing tip clearance is of great importance for safety the effect of aspect ratio on wing manufacturing for manufacturing reason, a low aspect ratio and shorter wing is desired. 
Lastly, the effect of aspect ratio on wing internal volume. Low aspect ratio have a greater useful internal volume which can be used to house the fuel tanks, retractable landing gears and other systems. Now let's jump to the last section, the effect of aspect ratio on aircraft cost. A longer wing needs higher cost to build compared with a shorter wing. As noted, the aspect ratio has several influences over the aircraft features. For some design requirements, a low aspect ratio wing is favorable, such as fighters, while for other design requirements, a high aspect ratio wing is desirable, such as gliders. Wetted aspect ratio the weighted aspect ratio considered the whole weighted surface area of the airframe rather than just the wing, where B is the span and S weight is the weighted surface, which is the surface which is in contact with external airflow, and it is possible for two aircrafts, one with high aspect ratio and the other with low aspect ratio, but they have similar weighted aspect ratio. And the weighted aspect ratio has a better measure of aerodynamic efficiency of an aircraft than the wing aspect ratio.